G'day guys, welcome back again. Saturday morning today and I'm going to do a swipe. Second one today, I did one earlier and I uh, wasn't happy with it. it. My gold was really quite thick and wasn't that happy with it. So anyway, swiped it, scraped it and did it again. So I am gonna put gold in the center and then blues down here and I'm going to swipe across like that so sort of diagonally today and what I'm using is just Floetrol in my as my pouring medium so I've got three parts Floetrol to one part paint so in the cups here I've got 90 grams of Floetrol to 30 grams of paint the paint I'm using is my global impasto today so I've got a navy blue which is called deep space and then I've got this bright blue, which is called Cool Blue. I'll show you the consistency of it. You can just pick it up like that and it blobs down. Uh, it's, it's quite quite a thick paint, uh, maybe yogurt. No, that's probably a bit thinner. Sour cream, maybe, or dollop cream. So, no, uh, bright blue. And then we have Coastal turquoise, which is this lighter sort of a turquoisey colour. And then I have a lovely bright gold. This one is called Brilliant Gold. But any light gold I think would be great as opposed to an antique gold. So in my colours, I'm going to put treadmill silicone and I'm going to do one drop per 30 grams or one drop per ounce. So Four drops in each, just of the treadmill silicone. One, two, three, four. Actually, let's go five. Why not? This one's got a little bit more. It can have six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. In you go, five. There we go. Right. Now, just around twice. One, two, one, two. And that's it. Okay, so I'm going to put my colours down. You can sort of see underneath where I've had them. I had gold in the middle, then I had navy. And they're a little bit different on each side. So I'm going to put my navy down first. And I think I'm going to make thinner lines and a few more of them. So navy there first. Leave a gap for my gold. I don't want to leave as much gap as I did last time. I had a bit too much gold. And then I'm going to put the blue down. Bring this navy a little bit closer. As I said, I'd, oops, putting my cup in the blue. We just leave a little gap for the gold. I'll make sure my cup, my edges there are covered. So I had a pouring workshop yesterday, which was great. Five lovely ladies come and pour with me. And they did some easy peasy swipes and they did ring pours. They saw my, my ring pour that I'd done and they all said, oh, I want to do that. So we did, I'll show it to you if you like, my copper and blue ring pour. Try not to get any paint on it. I won't be able to show you the whole thing because <laughs> I haven't got such a big frame, but that's it. There we go. Copper and blues. That was it. So we all did that, which was lovely. Actually, while I'm showing you things, I should show you my dried result from that uh, glue and water pour that I did. Nice and dry. No cracks, it's dried beautifully, exactly the same as how I left it, hasn't changed. So yeah, really happy with that, glue and water. Okay, back to pouring. So it's my daughter Christy's birthday next week. She's the one that lives about two hours away from me. So she came up yesterday after work and we're gonna do a bit of a birthday celebration for her today. We're gonna to go out for lunch she wants to go to a Japanese restaurant, so we're going to do that for lunch today. 
And then she is having a few friends over this evening and set up our deck with the fire pit and our curved lounge suite. So they'll all sit out there tomorrow and have a, and not tomorrow, tonight, and have a bit of a fire and a few drinks and listen to some music or whatever it is they're going to do tonight. Hopefully have a good time. So I'm just changing this up a little bit. I want dark light, but then I want this bright blue again, so dark. As you know, I like my dark light, dark light. And what do we need? Some navy over here. I'm going to leave a, a big space for some gold on the bottom because whatever colour you use at the end of your swipe really gets taken over, gets kind of pushed off. So you need to have a lot of it. And a little bit more of this tiny little bit of the aqua. And let's see if I can have a little bit more navy and then I'll leave a big space for the gold there and some more blue over here and a touch of aqua and then a big gap for the gold just going to shut my door Seems I've got a full house today. And then, um, yeah, Christy will head off back home again after tomorrow. I think tomorrow morning we might have a bit of more of a girly day and go to one of the markets. Apparently there's my local market. There's someone selling acrylic paws there. So I thought I'll go and check out the competition. See who it is. See if I know them. Check out their work. Okay, so now... There's no silicone in my gold, and I'm going to pour gold on the corners. As I said, this uh, most of it's going to get swiped off as you swipe down. Your last colour gets lost, so make sure your last colour is you've got extra of it to cover everything. And I'll probably, off camera, I'll fix up my edges. I don't want to bore you too much with filling in all my sides. Still feels really quite thick, that gold. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to tilt that way or that way because this middle bit's going to get closed in. So I'm just going to tilt down just to go over my edges a little bit. And make sure I haven't got too much paint left on this canvas. This is a 40 by 50 centimetre canvas. I don't have a small one in this sort of size range. I've only got like a metre square. I didn't want to do a metre square, just trying out these colours. So let's check. Make sure all these colours work and my thicknesses are good, my consistencies. And if I'm happy with them, then I can go on and do a bigger one. So pretty much all covered, just a little bit needs to fill in there and there. As I said, I'll go and do my sides a bit later on. I'm going to bore you with them. Leave a little gap there for my gold. doesn't matter if the gold goes over the top, it's just a guide as to where to put it. And I don't want too much gold. When I did the one previous, I had too much. And uh, you couldn't even see the blue. It was just gold to about here. And it's only a little canvas, so your swipe colour can take over and you might not see your other colours underneath it. So try not to put too much on. All right, let's get rid of some of that. Over the corner. Back the other way. Let's run that gold down. Okay, that's gone over. Need to fill in that little section just there. So for my swiping tool, I'm going to use what I always use when I'm doing a bigger canvas. Is my sheet of plastic. Just 
going to cover those as a big, oh, put it in the wrong colour, silly me. Put it in the navy cup. So if you're a member of my Australian Acrylic Pouring Group, it's Halloween in a, a couple of weeks. So today I've just put up the next challenge, pouring challenge, and of course it is Halloween themed. If you're not a member already and you'd like to join the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group, please join, we'd love to have you. We've got people from all over the world, and they're all a lovely people, very friendly, helpful group of people we've got. So come along and join us, we'd love to have you. Okay, so there's my gold. And I'm going to use, as I said, my sheet of plastic. This is it here. It's, it was a document holder. It had a front and a back and a little flap that went over the top and you put your documents inside. So I just cut that, cut the sides, and that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to go this way and I'm going to swipe down to the corner. All right, let's hope this works. I'm only going to take half the gold. So I'm going to do this first and I'll just do my little edges there with my smaller bit of plastic. So I'm going to put that halfway into the gold so I can use half for this side and then half for the other. And I don't want to touch my other colours. I just want to touch the gold like that and slowly drag it across. There we go. And then I can just put a bit of extra piddle pad here so I can wipe that clean. Ooh, that looks pretty. And then um, I'm going to use, I just wiped that, but I'm going to turn it over and use the other side. But I'm going to flip my canvas around because I can't pour that way. Well, I can't swipe that way. Oh, look at that. I'm much more happy with this one. And see the gold there? I've only got that much gold on the bottom now. I think I started about there, but most of it's gone wiped off. So that's why I always add more to whatever bottom colour you're using. Okay, wipe my hands, get my bit of plastic. Okay, actually I, should, I probably should have done those two before I turned it, shouldn't I? That was silly of me. That's okay. All right, now we'll take the other half of the gold. Oops, didn't want to really touch that blue, but anyway, got it now. Let's go. And wipe that off. Throw it over here, out of the way. Okay, so I've made a little bit of a, a ridge there, which can see the navy underneath. So I can just touch that up, put a little bit of paint there, touch that up. Once it's all dry, you know, you don't really see all these little imperfections once it's all dry. And if you do, hey, it doesn't matter, it's fluid art. It's never gonna be totally, totally perfect, you know, on each side. Okay, so while I've got it turned, I'm going to use, this is a smaller little bit of plastic that I've got. Same thing, document holder, and I'm just going to do that corner. Like that. Give that a bit of a wipe because I'm going to use that one a few times, so I just need to dry it off. Okay, let's do this corner, touch that gold there, missed a little bit, that's okay, I can go again. I don't want to interrupt that big cell there, it's gorgeous. Alright, give that a bit of a wipe again, my little bit of plastic. Now I know a lot of people use wet paper towel to do this. I personally like the weight of my bit of plastic. All right, let's flip that around. Is that where I had it? There we go, I think that's about it. I had little marks on here so I can see. 
Now finish off these two corners. Um, I'm going to have to lose those cells. where your plastic has met you're going to get that little mark I don't know if I can get rid of it I can try but it may just leave another see where you the two join so if I go over it I probably just get another two so it's not worth it okay all right I think that's enough. don't want to go over it too much but I will give it a bit of a torch up here where the gold is thicker and see if there's anything that wants to come up. Just in the middle here where the, the gold is. Just go over that and then wait. I don't want to go overboard with the cells. So they're popping up now, these little ones are popping up through the gold. So that's the treadmill silicone. Sometimes I use the coconut milk hair serum and I really like the cells from those as well, but I might do this one and then do the next one with the coconut milk and just see what difference it makes. So what do you think of that? My favourite part? is these corners, the gold corners, where the, the gold is popping up through the blue. How pretty is that? Really like that. Uh, I'm going to just torch through here, see if I can get something through there, some more um, of the aquid coming through, see if I can get the aqua to come through like that. And maybe just through there, not too much. I'd rather do it slowly and have a few goes over with the heat gun. Once I've seen what's happening, I can decide whether I want to do more. So these have popped up. These are really pretty. Look at that. Those have got um, three colours in them, those little ones down there. Really pretty. You might have remembered me mention that metallic paints make your cells sort of a little bit wobbly. They're not... A particularly round shaped cell. Uh, that's one reason I don't really like working with metallics but look a lot of people like them. See how these ones here they're kind of a bit they're not defined the circles whereas these ones here are more defined or that have got less gold on them these little blue ones they're much more defined than these ones that have got a lot of gold on them. And same here, these ones here, they've got a lot of gold on them, so they're not really defined, they're kind of watery looking. And then you go back here to where there's less gold over the top of them and they're a better formed cell. So that's what I mean about the metallics. But you get the best of both worlds, I guess, a bit of both. Um, a lot of people like that type of cell. I did a really big pour in with a, um, I think no, it was a black swipe, but it had a lot of gold in it, and that came up. I really, personally, wasn't that in love with it, but everyone else sort of said, "Wow," you know, and I thought, "Oh, okay." But my cells were all sort of zigzag, out of out of shape, but everyone liked it. So there you go. I think that's enough. I'm not going to. Do I want to torch any more? Maybe here. There's a lot of gold there that hasn't got some cells there and there. Maybe a little bit closer to this middle bit. Just a once over on that and then I think that will be it. Done. What do you think? A little bit in that corner. I'm not even going to torch down on these corners because the heat of the, the blowtorch on the paint there will make these cells grow really big and I, I like how they're little and then there's big ones and so I'm just going to leave it. So, yeah, happy with that. Uh, you can see the, the navy, the aqua, the blue, the aqua, the navy, the gold. You can see the different colours. The cool blue, as I said, throws a bit of purple here. 
I don't mind that either. I knew it was going to do that, and I don't mind that. So let me take you in for a close-up, and then I will fiddle around with my edges, make sure they're all covered. I might take you down, take the camera down. So you can see better. I can never zoom in properly. Okay, so that's it there. Have a look at these down here, these cute little cells. Are you gonna focus? There we go, focused. Aren't they pretty? So those are those cells that have got most of the gold in them. They kind of bleed and they just don't have a defined edge. Still pretty but uh, just not my favourite type of cell. So I do try not to use metallics, but I did want to do a metallic swipe. There's that other corner. Oops, I'm in the, making a shadow. Look at that. It's kind of like the sun. Lots of little stars in the night, eh? And I really like these little cells that have popped up after I've torched, the multicoloured ones. See, they've got colours within colours within colours. Really pretty. So that's it. And come back out. Are you going to focus? There we go. I need to go and clean up, jump in the shower, get ready for lunch. We're going Japanese, Japanese restaurant for lunch. And hopefully I might pour tomorrow. Oops, I made that too dark. So I might see you again tomorrow. But anyway, uh, jump on the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group page. Join us and do some Halloween pours. Halloween colours, that's the challenge for this fortnight. Okay, see you then. Bye for now.